Yesterday, we saw the recent developments of the EO College and all the MOOCs that are on the EO College. And today, we are going to ask ourselves the question, so where do we go from here? So the first action that we took was the development of a Linux-based package of all the freely available radar processing software. This package is designed to make it easier for users to access data, to use software without any compilation issues or installing problems or finding software in the first place. So based on this, people can just start learning and using radar data. So as you can see here, this Sabian software has uh, several different packages. For example, there are uh, general radar processing packages such as SNAP, RSF MapReady, and Pyroza. There are also freely available interferometry packages such as Snafu, Doros, and Pyred. And there's also polarimetry software such as Pulsar Pro. In addition to that, we also installed generic software such as G GIS software, R packages, Python packages, and Octave packages to make it a more comprehensive operating system to work with radar data and uh, Earth observation data in general. You can download the Sabian package from this link. Another issue that we were talking about yesterday already is the availability of online learning material on a mobile device, such as a smartphone or a tablet. As we saw already yesterday, um, the majority of people are still accessing the course material via a desktop computer, meaning that at least they need some IT infrastructure to access our learning material. In order to mitigate that and to improve the accessibility and user friendliness of the material, the aim should be the production of online material that is suited for mobile learning environments. The benefits of this approach would be that there's no need for a heavy IT infrastructure. So that would be much more suitable to reach a broader audience. It would be much more suitable to reach people in the developing world. And also, no heavy data processing would be necessary in order to learn something about Earth observation. Mobile applications and mobile learning content is something that should be produced in the future and that we should start developing within the next years. Another crucial component is the connection between the learning platform EO College and cloud processing platforms. This approach would also make it possible to mitigate the heavy data load and reduce the need for a strong internet bandwidth in order to do Earth observation and to learn of Earth observation. Because with bringing the algorithms on the server and just uh, exchanging text files to start algorithms on a server, it would be much more easy to use uh, Earth observation data regardless of the internet bandwidth or the IT infrastructure available. Another central element of the future work is the research on effective learning mechanisms in an online environment, in an e-learning environment. So the central question that we have to ask ourselves is how can we optimize the interaction between the human and the machine in order for the human to learn as much as possible. As you saw already yesterday, we are starting with the first experiments on that, testing static content versus interactive content. But this can only be the beginning of that process in order to understand how much I have to immerse myself in order to learn efficiently in an online environment, especially keeping in mind that an online environment can be very distractive. Another major field of research in the next years will be the implementation of adaptive learning strategies. Adaptive learning meaning that the learning platform is able to adapt to the needs of an individual user based on the data that the user produces on that platform. So 
not every person has the same learning style. Some people need text to learn, some people need video to learn, some people need to actually do something. And it's so far not very applicable in an online environment to have an image of that process. So adaptive learning needs a lot of data and needs a lot of uh, strategical thinking on how to set up a platform in order to make it smart enough to suit the needs of an indi individual user. What that means for the content that we have so far is that very likely in the future we will not deliver huge blocks of content such as a massive open online course to the user anymore, but we will go back to a granular structure of the materials where each module has its own description and its own entity. And based on that, people can choose different paths through the material in order to learn a certain topic. So not every user will see the same content in order to reach the same target. If you think about those adaptive learning environments, we also have to think about artificial intelligence because artificial intelligence can help to build those adaptive learning environments. There are many questions and research topics related to artificial intelligence in the context of uh, Earth observation and in the context of e-learning. So one particular question that I want to pick out today is how can artificial intelligence be used to automate feedback on user assignments? So if you think on online learning, how it works so far is that everybody sees the same content, everybody takes the same test, and those tests are usually multiple choice because they can be analyzed in an automatic way very easily for tens of thousands of users. So the challenge will be how can we create more complex assignments such as a land cover classification, for example, and compare this automatically to a reference or to some standard or whatever in order to give an automated feedback if the user did a good job on his classification or not. So that is just one specific example of a very general problem. How can we automate the feedback on a user assignment in an e-learning environment? Future research is needed on all of those questions. The challenge is now to combine the resources that are available, the experiences that are available, to branch out to other topics of e-learning, to look beyond the rim of Earth observation to figure out which technologies are there. Are there any standards? Are there software packages that are freely available that we can use, for example, to set up an adaptive learning environment? And ideally, we would implement those technologies in the EO College within the upcoming years. Besides that, we would like to implement as many courses and resources on Earth observation into the EO College as possible, making it a single access hub for people that want to learn about Earth observation.